Let's take a walk along the beach before the tide comes in. You sure missed one hell of a party last night. I have this habit of sitting down and uh, and and asking questions, asking, saying what's in here today, you know, on top of a page, because mm. I tend I tend to write um, stuff with ideas rather than melodies oh, and okay. stuff. Yeah. So I'll start and and I get rid of the top layer, which is which is. Um, you know, well now it would be I've had to come and you know and meet you guys and you know have a camera pointed at me. And so a bit of kind of yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. about that. So I get rid of <laughs> get rid of that, write it down, and then go down to the next layer, which yeah. is which is I'm working on a song at the moment, which is about something or other. You know, yeah. and then the next layer down is you know sort of I went to see my old dad and I'm worried about about him, yeah, how he's coping. Sense. And then and then and the image, the image is like a is like a, an architectural uh, uh, an archaeological. Like, like an archaeological dig, or or one of those cliffs that's sort of um, it's exposed, yeah. uh, and so you can see layers. You see layers of different striations of rock, and then you might see um, a whole bunch of shells um, where yeah. somebody's had a feed. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And, I love you, that. and and you keep going way, way, way down until you get to sort of an emotional stuff that really matters, but maybe you've you've overlooked it because you're so busy. That's and, um, okay. Don't keep your distance from me Andy Don't keep your distance from me So you didn't make it back in time for the birthday boy That's quite a complicated song. I mean I grew up near Tecapuna Beach. I was I used to be in the in the running club. I won I won Midget's most meritorious performance when I was eight. No, it's probably the best prize. It probably, I was more, more thrilled to get that prize than I have any other time in my life. Because um, I had a cold, I had a bad cold. It was the real, it was a dodgy prize because I had a cold, but I won, so I, you know, I ran a race quite well. And, okay, it was like a wooden spoon sort of thing. But um, we used to run along Takapuna Beach, and um, my brother, older brother, used to, used to hang out on Takapuna Beach. Take me to beach a lot, um, and then in the in the front lawn, the early days of the front lawn, I was working on some song ideas. Um, uh, I had I had a song which was kind of like um, two brothers saying goodbye to each other, and one of them wasn't there anymore. I lost my brother when when he was uh, when he was twenty and I was fifteen. Um, he was killed in an accident, and. Um, I had this idea, which was sort of, it was only peripherally about, about that. It was more, I, I was working on a whole bunch of stuff about, about the new wind of um, uh, economics that was sort of going through New Zealand and, and the, the glass buildings. And uh, I had this notion of a kind of rural, rural brother who, um, you know, who, who actually made, made real things or, or made real uh, you know, provided a service for people. That was his, his idea of employment, and and a and a kind of urban brother who lived on Takapuna Beach and who um, who had bought into this sort of the flash ephemeral kind of life that that Rogernomics was offering everybody. And um, I, was, I had this whole all this scaffolding around the song, um, and um, and I and I played it to Harry. I played the beginnings of it to Harry simply, who was my my offsider in the front lawn, and he just said, he said, um, you know, you can't, yeah, you've made up these two characters, which are not you and your brother. Um, why don't you put? Um, why don't you make it really about you and your brother? Right. And then we can really, uh, and then we can distill. We can we can use that use this song as a vessel to put all of that feeling, you know, and then the rest of the songs you write won't be so melancholy. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and you can distill, you can essentialize I that feeling like that. Yeah. into that into that one vessel, into that one place. You can put all that stuff, and then we can go on and do a whole bunch of other work, which isn't isn't coloured by that. Isn't it nice when someone can come in and say that to you? Eh? Nobody else you can never see it yourself. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, that's I mean that's what a collaboration can be when it's at its best, because you you really get challenged by somebody. And I wouldn't have taken that from anybody else, because I you know I was. Um, you know, I, well, I really only just started writing songs, but I, you know, I thought it was pretty crash hot, and um, <laughs> my opinion of myself has gradually gone down over the years. But, but, um, yeah, but he, he, he was able to, he was able to sort of pinpoint that, 
and then, and then just encourage me to keep going basically you take look drop drop the drop the economic stuff there's a bridge in the middle of the song which is about taking from the beach and about the glass and about the you know they're making money out of money yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. sort of stuff um, but um, it, it, you know it, essentially it's just some, it's just a, it's just a song about loss and it's a song it's a song uh, talking to somebody who's not there there's kind of a reveal in the song it's like a it's a it's a story that's got a it's got a reveal in the end and maybe you don't twig until the end that, that the that the singer's talking to somebody who's not there anymore mm. um, no that's right because I like the 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 whole like you say that bit in the middle about making money out of money it, it's quite a nice little kind of diversion about kind of more than museum and this. Can you believe this place? Well, can you? They're making money out of money. They're making buildings out of glass. Their kids look like they stepped out of fashion magazine. And none of it's gonna last. I was always, always been charged with people. Um, I've always been criticised for putting more, shoehorning more stuff into a song than really should go into a song. Mm -hmm. But I've never kind of realised, I didn't know that there was a rule. How many rules are there? Mm -hmm. to be broke. Yeah, and I, you know, yeah. I mean, some of the songs that I really love, uh, I mean, I think, you know, you've got to approach your work from the point of view of a, of a fan, I think. Like, if, you, if you're a real fan of something, you want to make something that's a bit like that. And, and, and the stuff that I really loved when I was, when I was you know, 12 and 13 were big long story songs, old country songs, old Irish folk songs which told a story and yeah. songs which had a had a kind of short story structure to them. So I, I, I got a kick out of that. And 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 when I'm lucky, um, I can kind of get a I can I can get a, a sense of the landscape into a song. Sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes it works better than others. And with Andy, you know, there's a lots of there's lots of landscape pointers. You know, the the, the singers say it says why don't what do you say we go up north here yeah. and there's all that all that sort of stuff um, which uh, hopefully um, hopefully gives people images in their head as they're listening to the song. Andy, don't keep your distance. What do you say we go up north here? Try to catch the sailing races. The best way to start for me is what it means to me. Yeah. Because it's sort of different, I suppose, for you. But uh, but I particularly like Andy because it's got a sort of real resonance of sort of uh, something lost. And uh, and then I kind of really I looked at the beach, and the beach is one of those places that's become very manicured right. and worked over and kind of you know. But there's a few places in there that really I love. There's, there's still a few built in 1940 and kind of still retain their yeah. their kind of you know their original quality. And so I went down and I really kind of worked over and found those little broken paths down to the beach and the kind of little things that remind you of those places. And anyway, so I, I kind of went through that thing and I kind of got down to those cliffs at the end and I really liked that kind of, I got a bit more ragged down there. Yeah. So I sort of combined it. So is this a particular place or is this, is this you've so you reimagined it? A, a little bit. Yeah. I, I've kind of lifted the path. Well, I've, I've lifted a path from, the paths from there, but the the sandstones, those cliffs at the end, yeah, cool. and then I've lifted these flowers from along the beach and yeah, cool, yeah. some gorse from further along, and then the paths from actually from a little spot in Nelson, which I thought I'd kind of subject in there. But I've got another bit of path which I'll probably use to actually paint based on the original one. Is that the way you is that your process where you, you make a composite photo? Yeah, well, I, I, usually what I find is I find I'll get there and there's a kind of an image there I want, but that's over there and that's over there, and there's a lot of space in between, so. Mm. I literally photograph everything and then chop it all up and <coughs> squeeze it into the. Brilliant. And That's I like nice. this kind of long format. It's like a four, it's a it's a one by two. You know, it's as high. It's twice as long as it is high, because of the cliff thing. And I wanted to kind of get that the falling down plants and the the big poodle car in the front and so forth. And then it kind of ends for no particular reason on the sandstone thatch, which was yeah. quite, quite like that. And then I thought I'd just butt up that kind of. St the path, I like the kind of the broken wood kind of things that are just yeah, worked yeah. in there. Yeah. So I'm hoping to kind of lift it up a bit. I, That's great, yeah. I sort of whiz the gorse, gorse up a bit and then, but I'll put it in flower as well because I love gorse and flower. It's, yeah. it's such a sort of contradiction, the kind of spiky plants and the, yeah. the beautiful yellow flowers. So I'm just kind of like thinking of that whole, you know, the access to the beach and the kind of whole thing of, of, uh, yeah. of Tegapuna. What's the big dark space going to be? Is it, is that a... Uh, Pudicawa. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. 
which I think they are allowed to have on the shore. So you kind of paint the sh you paint the kind of dark presence of it, and then you paint the detail of it. Oh yeah, so my yeah my my sort of way of working. I mean, this is very typical of kind of I I've been doing. I used to paint what, what's termed a la prima, which was basically you start at this side, and you kind of start painting, and it kind of it's finished, and you kind of you jigsaw puzzle it all together. But lately, I've kind of uh, quite enjoyed this sort of thing of um, uh, layering it up a bit. So, so I'll let this dry, and then I'll work back over the top a little bit more. Uh, it's kind of just a kind of process, really. I mean, kind of, I just kind of plug away at it. Some things I'll to paint pretty much straight away, like this sandy cliff will be pretty easy to do. But then I'll drop the shadow in afterwards. It's the same with these guys. This will be really fun because it's all. You know, you've got half of it in the light and half of it in dark, so you've got to paint the darker bits and the lighter bits, mm. and then the shadow of the stone. So what's that plant there? Oh, these are quite, this is just quite grassy. Kind oh, of is that, that, okay, that's rushes and stuff. Isn't yeah, it? just, we're just kind of, that sort of rubbishy, I, I, I've always quite liked the rubbishy stuff that grows on the edges of things. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of sand and a bit of thing and a bit of dirt and a bit of this, you know. You always get a lot of different colour. I mean, in, in the photograph, you've got all this kind of different thing happening, you know, browns and yeah. oranges and greens and you know yellows. So have you you never really done a coastal thing, like you never actually because this is this is like from the beach, isn't it? Yeah. Like, so you, Which is the other been... thing I thought I'd sort of thought of the view, and I thought of the the kind of beach as such. And actually, it's quite because you're on the beach often looking up at things, yeah, yeah, yeah. the cliff cliff tops. And this is very much from that point where you, uh, you know, you're on the beach looking at, up at something, which is in the house. I always, um, I always have had a sort of perverse thing on beaches where, where generally you stand on the beach and you look out at the view. But I, I, what I really love is being in the water and looking back at the beach because it reminds me of a stage in a. For some reason it reminds me of a stage in an audience yeah. because of, because the the water's flat and you and 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 simple. Like mm. a stage is flat and simple yeah. and, and just contains the people that are standing on it. But the, the, the beach is really complicated and multi layered. And, yeah, yeah, so true. Gosh. If only you could see a hometown now. Andy, don't keep your distance from me. Andy, Distance from